Hello and welcome to the Wolfgang Digital video blog. I'm Alan Coleman. Today I'm going to talk to you about getting inside the mind of Google. One of the biggest problems digital marketers face is trying to keep up with the relentless pace of innovation in search. And it's a terrible thing um, when you're in a position where you're reacting to changes which have gotten away from you. Um, so while it's vitally important to be keeping up to date with the uh, product updates, the innovations as they happen, we feel it's also a really good idea to spend some time um, analyzing what the updates mean and getting an understanding of the strategic thinking behind them. So all good chess players know that by keeping a close attention to your opponent's individual moves, you can build a really good picture of their overall strategy. Um, and as search marketers, we want to do exactly the same with Google. So what we like to do is look at all the individual innovations as they occur and try and um, get an understanding of the strategic thinking Google's using to arrive at these, um, which means that hopefully then we'll be able to predict uh, where things are going in the future and then um, allocate resources and position campaigns appropriately. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at three um, recent search innovations. We're going to look at the coherent thread between them, analyze Google's thinking, and we're then going to make some bold predictions as to what's coming next. So search innovation number one is Google authorship. So what Google authorship allows you to do is to display an image of the author of a blog post or the author of a web page in the search results alongside that listing. And you can see an example here. Search innovation number two is product listing ads. What product listing ads allow advertisers to do is if you sell product and somebody's searching for your specific products, you can display an image of that product. Uh, on the Google search results page. And innovation number three, now this was announced last week but it hasn't actually been launched yet. Uh, we managed to get it on early re release. So one of our clients, uh, Celtic Link Ferries, um, you can see here has image ad extensions. So again, they've been enabled to display some images um, relevant to, to their offering on the Google results page. Um, so here's a screen grab of Google from 1998. Um, you can see it's very, very text heavy. Um, the coherent thread between these three recent innovations is we can see Google's um, integrating very relevant and very useful imagery into the search results page. So you might look at this and say, well, it's hardly the most sophisticated strategy in the world, but it is backed up by really smart science and it's coherent with what makes Google great. So let's explore those two points. On the smart science side of things, humans have evolved over hundreds of thousands of years um, in a way that we're genetically wired to absorb visual imagery really, really efficiently. And the ubiquity of text is a relatively new phenomenon. Um, and studies have shown that we actually absorb imagery 60 thousand times faster than we do absorb text. So you can see that scientifically, it's a really good move for Google to, to, to start integrating relevant imagery into the search results. Part two is what makes Google great is user experience. The reason the competition in search are bloodied and whimpering on the ground is Google has done an amazing job at delivering a fantastic user experience. So they get the absolute most relevant results to you in a really short time. Now, here's a screen grab. So you can see Google are, in a way, they're bragging to us. And uh, we've delivered 232 million results in 0.23 seconds. And um, so the time part is what's of particular interest to us now. So Google's thinking has evolved considerably over the last 12 to 18 months. And there's a lot more focus now happening on the other side of the screen. So what I mean by that is up to now, there's been lots of focus on the spider, the database, the algorithm, and all the technology to deliver the most um, relevant results. But they're now spending a little bit more time focusing on you, on the user, on the other side of the screen. So this is why they've done this. What they're doing now is they're not just trying to display the most relevant um, information in the quickest time, but they're now trying to display it to you in a format which is easily digestible by, by the user. Um, 
because what their ultimate goal is to get you not just to the destination website, but to the answer, the action, or the purchase, whatever it is you sat down to do, as an efficient and smooth uh, manner as possible. Like, that is their ultimate goal. And by understanding our perception of what they put in front of us, um, they can deliver better results to get us there faster. So now that we've isolated some innovations and we've looked into them and we've gotten an insight into Google's thinking and why it's doing it, now I'm gonna make some bold predictions as to what Google's next big play is. So, for me, uh, my money is very firmly on video ad extensions. For me, this is a no-brainer. Um, three really good reasons. Number one, Google owns YouTube, Google owns AdWords. There's, there should be a wonderful synergy there. Um, YouTube is the world's biggest and the world's best video website. So they have the platform, they have the technology to put video um, on Google search. Um, reason number two is a criticism of the web is you can't touch and feel and whatever it is you're researching. So while you still can't do that, video is the closest you're gonna get. And then reason number three is mobile. So as 4G is rolled out um, this year, all of a sudden mobile is gonna get a lot more video friendly and that will really support um, Google pushing more video in the, in the search engine results page. So that's our video blog and getting inside the mind of Google. I hope you found it useful. Um, please keep watching and stay ahead of the pack. Bye-bye.